she's got the external hardware right now to recover from her wounds. Betty got the surgery she needed, but what she does not have is a home for the holidays. We don't want any homeless pet sitting in a shelter for the holidays when everybody else is at home and loved and having a good time with family. While it's true that these pets won't understand that the calendar says December 25th, many of them have experienced what it's like to be with a loving family at Christmas time. Things are happening in people's lives. They lose their job, get separated. You know, you've heard me say that before, get a divorce. Half the animals in here are brought to us where people have to release them. So to get more of these animals out of their cages, the Irving Animal Care Campus is launching a holiday foster program. People can take a dog or cat home for Christmas Eve through New Year's. Take it home for a week or so. Christmas time is not a time to be alone for any creature. Linda Palma has fostered hundreds of dogs, taking them home temporarily to help socialize them or otherwise get them ready for permanent homes. It's a great feeling. It, it, we're all so busy and work and school and just everyday life. This is one opportunity you have to let everything get your guard down and just take care of something that needs some care. Whether it be to socialize them because they're not socialized, give them an opportunity not to be in a kennel environment, it actually probably brings more of a good feeling to yourself than it may even for the dog. Yes, fostering is a commitment, even if it's only for a week or so. The dynamics in the household will be different. Um, they may be getting up a little earlier to let that pet out, but all in all, it's a wonderful experience. And when it comes to fostering, the biggest success is failure. Failure is good here. Here's what we mean. Some people who set out to take a pet just temporarily get attached and don't want to give them up when it's time. So temporary becomes permanent. Now we call them failed fosters. They bond with the dogs. And that's okay because all of these animals are up for adoption. You take them home, you foster them for a little bit, you find out that you can't live without them and you come adopt. And that's what we're hoping happens to these animals. But if not, at least they get home for the holidays. I would recommend it to anyone. It's a great experience. If you're looking for a dog, it's a great way to find the type of dog and personality that you want. Over the holidays, Animal Care Campus staff members work only minimal hours and fewer volunteers come in. So a home may be the best place for Betty and other animals. These pets are all alone and it's just heartbreaking to think that it's a special holiday and they don't have anybody to share it with. To foster a dog or cat, contact the Animal Care Campus at 972-721-2256 or 972-721-7788, or stop by. It is located at 4140 Valley View Lane and open Tuesday through Saturday. Open up your heart and home, even if it's only for a few days, and let a wonderful dog or cat get that experience of being at home.